My name is Michelle Roots and I'm a personal trainer and kinesiologist and I own Core Conditioning Cloverdale Fitness Studio. I finished my degree at the University of Winnipeg in kinesiology. I was flying home um, and I decided I'm starting my own business, this is what's happening, I'm going to have my own gym one day and I was doodling logos on the napkin on the plane ride home. I knew my, core, or my company was going to be called Core Conditioning and I came home and within about six months my business was born and sure it was a little bit of a struggle business training clients here and there but it was happening and 11 years later here we are sitting in Core Conditioning Cloverdale Fitness Studio. I would say advice for um, people looking to get into the online training space. I really think now because there are so many online trainers you really need to get yourself out there. Um, I feel like people invest in a trainer as opposed to a training business. Um, you need to get out on social media, you need to get out and talk to people and really show them your training style, how you can help them and not be fake, like just be real. I feel even if they haven't met me, before they even come in to see me or talk to me on the phone through online training, they feel like they already know me. Um, because I'm just, I am who I am on social media. I show myself working out, I sweaty mess and I'm like, oh, like I'm not perfect makeup, like never. Um, and just like find your niche and stick to it. Like if so, if you specialize in training athletes, go with it. Don't try and train women over 50 and men under 40 and this. Find a niche at least to start and focus in and target those athletes. Create programs surrounding that niche. And then after you've specialized and you've built up a clientele, you've got some testimonials, then you can expand your reach. But really, really focus in and you know, just work hard and it'll come. I would say from a trainer standpoint, it gives me freedom in that I don't have to work 12 hours a day anymore. As a trainer, when you're first starting out, you're really, you're trading your time for money. Um, but where now you get a little bit more freedom, like I say, I still enjoy one-on-one -on -one training, so I would never give that up. But now I don't have to do the 12 hours a day in order to make more, the same or more income. Um, so I would say it gives me more freedom in that I don't have to be in the gym 12 hours a day. I feel like my online training business has been growing alongside my fitness studio and my in-person training business where, you know, again, looking at earning potential. So I got to the point where I was training 12 hours a day. I was up at six in the morning to train my first client and sometimes I wouldn't be home till nine o'clock at night. Over the place, so of course, me seeing the potential of how do I work less, make more, or expand, like reach more people. So hence, I brought in group fitness classes into my into my business, which has been amazing. Um, I'm able to reach 18, 20 people in one hour. Um, at the same time now, I'll be teaching a class and I have my Apple Watch here and I've got 20 people in the room. And then I also have a client checking in. I'm getting a notification that one of my online trans clients is checking in for their workout. And honestly, it's the best feeling in the world that I know I'm, I'm impacting that many people. So I have personal training clients here that see me once a week in person and now I'm able to market them. Well, you only really have to see me once a week and now I'm setting you up with my Trainerize app and they're doing their own workouts throughout the week. They're checking in, I know what they're doing, I'm track they're tracking their nutrition. So then when I see them that one time a week, it's a check in, how are things going? I don't really have to ask them if they did their workouts. I already know they did them. They they know exactly what they're doing because they're following their workouts through their app and for me it's freed me up a lot of time. Um, clients don't necessarily need to train with me three, four times a week. Now I'm able to build more independence in them and getting their own workouts in, but they still have that motivation where they're seeing me once a week. In a good way. Um, I also feel like in building my business, when I was working those 12 hours a day, I knew that wasn't gonna last. I knew I was gonna burn out. I knew if I ever wanted to have a family, or see my friends, <laughs> it would never, you know, so I kind of planned again um, ahead of time for that by um, one, bringing in, I have an amazing team of trainers here at Core Conditioning. Um, they help me out quite a lot and I'm able to kind of make my own schedule now with whatever works with my son's nap time. <laughs> um, the odd time I do bring him down here and my clients are happy to see him. Um, but yeah, so now when I'm home with him, I'm able to work on my online training business and do the business stuff on the side. And then when I'm in the studio, 
I can train my clients in person, teach classes. So it's, it's kind of the best of both worlds. I really enjoy it. I'm able to work with clients from around the world while I'm at home and then I come down and I get that face-to-face -face action as well.